Hi guys, welcome back to a new video. You're on my channel, The World of Reading, and my name's Celeste. And today I'm going to be doing my January 2021 wrap-up. I'm filming this on the 31st, so there is a possibility I could finish one more book, but I will talk about that later. Um, but it's crazy. It's already been a month in 2021, even though it's been a crazy month. But it's still, it's still a month over here and I'm just... <laughs> it's crazy, the time has flown by, the past year has been a horrible, horrible year. But for me, at least, it f has flown by so fast and it's been crazy. But just let's get into the statistics and the books I've read. So right now, I've officially finished 22 books in the month of January. Could be more, but oh, I'm trying to make space for other stuff in my life. Normally last year, my reading average of the month was around 30 books a month, which is a lot. And now the last few months have been around 20. And that's because I've been trying to make more space for other stuff I enjoy doing. And I've been working out. Uh, I've also been working. Um, so that's been happening. And also, like, it, uh, there were two days where I didn't physically read anything and almost no audiobooks. Uh, but also, yeah, okay, let's get into the what kind of forms I read in. I read nine physical books, which is really good for me. Around, I normally read around eight to ten physical books a month. Uh, I read 13 audiobooks, which is pretty average for me. I think normally I read a bit more, uh, but this is still good. Um, I just listened to music too this month because I just wanted to listen to music. And I read zero ebooks because, sorry for that, it just, I shaved, you know, if you're a woman or a man that shaves, my skin is always it's just after it's um okay um zero e i've been in an ebook slum for a while now it's been not my ebook type i really want to get back to it oh my god i have glitter in my hair look at that like i put <laughs> oh my god like look at that they didn't mean to if i put glitter on my face but i didn't mean to put it in my hair but okay. <clears throat> oh, I'm crazy. Uh, okay. So zero ebooks. I really want to get back into ebooks e because I have like five Nat Gelly ebooks I need to finish. Um, but yeah, okay. Um, so I've read six five stars, two four point five stars, seven four stars, three 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 stars. I still have difficulty as a Duolingo with the the tree and the number three it's like one of the hardest things for me to say uh and i gave two two stars and also two books i didn't write because i didn't think they were my place to write um but yeah this was an average reading month not my best month also not like with stars i have a few stars but five stars not my best one, but still a good reading month. Let's just get into the books I've read then. Um, first book I listened to, but I own physically, was a two star. And if you've been on my channel for a while, you will know that I love Loveless by Alice Oseman. But this book is an Alice Oseman book. Solid hair by Alice Oseman. I gave it two stars. I did not like this book, like, at all. And I've noticed that uh, I love the Heartstopper series by Alice Oseman, and I do love Loveless. I didn't really enjoy um, Radio Silent, but it was still enjoyable. It just wasn't my favorite, and I hated this. And I, I noticed that her newer books are more in my straight and her oral books aren't as much i don't want to read i was born for this and this winter and you know the short stories uh but i'm scared i didn't like this i can't remember i just forgot about the whole book this is about Doris spring and 
Mike Holden and Solitaire and they're doing jokes in the school and mental health and I just did not enjoy my time with this one which is sad I'm so sad about this one like really sad then I listened to the audiobook of Wicca Book of Spells and Witchcraft for Beginners by Sarah Kunkel which I didn't read it's a I'm a beginner I really was in I'm interested in witchcraft and I will say like in the later half of the month I just kind of lagged in doing my research but you know I'm just a beginner I'm just in the beginning stage I'm learning more about it because it is a very interesting um topic because what it just I don't know I really enjoy learning about this but it didn't feel right for me to read this book uh, next, I physically read A Laundress by Brandon Sanderson. Uh, you will see that my video that was for Edward Trust's personal recommendations. I really, really enjoyed my time with this one. I gave it 4.5 stars. Not 5 stars, sadly, but I do think that this is one you should start with. Like, this is the one you should start with if you're very scared to start Brandon Sanderson. Like, I started with Miss Bourne myself, and I would not recommend starting there. I would like recommend a laundress or Warbreaker to start with. Uh, this one enjoyed it really much. Just in the middle, like I think the first six hundred pages. How many? Pages? No, first three hundred pages enjoyed it, and next hundred pages of lag just was bored, and then I loved it again. So that's why I didn't give it five stars because. It lagged a bit in the middle. Um, but um, this is about Serena. And Serena um, is meant to marry Rayodin. And Rayodin is the son of the king in K. And K lives is a city next to Elantris. Elantris was for years the best city in the world. The Elantrians were seen as gods and they have magic and anything and 10 years ago the city just fell and now ever since um people got sick and when they got sick with the virus like with the laundry it's not really virus but they were put in a laundry and they just had to survive and selena arrives and Kay expecting to meet her fiance but when she comes there he's dead they say he's dead and um in the contract it states that she when one of them passes they exactly marries so she is a widow before she marries and it's her finding a way to navigate this and reopening in elantras and it's really interesting i would really recommend this oh my god i need to what is it? <laughs> sorry Ooh. I need to hurry up because I've been talking for eight minutes already. Uh, for Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban, don't support Jake Rowling on here. Uh, <coughs> sorry. Uh, but uh, don't. Transphobes, whatever, if you're here, just go away. I don't need you here. If you support Jake Rowling, please unsubscribe because this is a safe space for trans people, for black people, for. Jewish speech people because I've if you've been on TikTok lately, you know there's been a lot of hate to minorities in the HP community and I'm like mad, so mad at people. Um but I do love the series. This one is my favorite so far. Um I'm not gonna talk in depth about it. But what I did promise and what you see on my channel is whenever I read a HP book, I will pick up a book by a trans author afterwards because I want to support trans authors it's very important and I really want to and I will review the book does not mean I will specifically like the book but it does mean I will pick it up and review it so next audio I picked up was who I was by who I was with her by Nita Tyndall which is a book by a trans author and this book was oh my god I 
trigger warnings for grief with this book. I gave this book five stars because I loved it. May not be, have been the right time for me to pick this up after my grandfather died. Um, because I think the first hour or two in the audiobook is just full on grief. And that's was very hard to listen to and I cried. But it's amazing. It's such an amazing book and I would really recommend you pick this up because... <sighs> okay, so it is about a main character and she had a relationship with this girl for a few months but no one knows she's a lesbian. She's an out, she's now with her girlfriend because she's scared. And then one day in class, or no, after sports team, she finds out that her girlfriend has died. And no one knows that she was her girlfriend. So she isn't allowed to grieve publicly because no one knows. And that's just very hard hitting, I would really recommend. Um, then I listened to the audiobook of Wikipedia, a modern day white witch guide by Sean Robbins and Leanna Greenway. I did give this one star ratings because if it gave five stars because I just love this audiobook. I think it if you want to learn more about Wicca, this is a great one to listen to. Um I really want to listen to podcasts but I don't have Spotify premium. I just don't have the money for it. <sighs> like I'm waiting until I'm a student because you get a big discount if you're a student here in the Netherlands. I don't know if it's and also anywhere else so i'm just waiting um seven an ember in the ash of the sabbath here i listened to this audiobook five stars i love this series it's really to finish or to read the last one because i think i read um november 2019 the rest of the series like the first three so it's been a while and I picked this up on a rebate, loved this five stars. I finished it because I picked it up before, but it wasn't the right time for me to pick it up then. So I finished it now. I love this. Re truly would recommend this series. Then I read Soulbinder by Sebastian Nascal. This Sebastian Nascal, this is a buddy read. I'm buddy reading the series with Robbie from Ant Snow Something in the book. Uh, I love this one. This one was the first five the stars in the series so far. Um, self in those and but yeah, love this one. Truly recommend this series. It's about Kellen. Kellen is a mage, and he's a really, really good one. And I just would recommend this. We're reading the fifth book at the end of February and the sixth book in the beginning of March so we'll be finishing the series off soon and I'm really excited because I've read the first five before I haven't read the last one so yes next I physically read A Man Called O by Frederick Bachman this was also for the video of Can I Trust This Person's Recommendations I gave this one five stars yeah I did and I love this one so much. I have uh, fallen in love with Frederick Bachman. I really want to read every single thing he wrote, but just know you need to prepare yourself before you go into this book. Also, um, I get why his books aren't for everyone. It takes a while to get in his way of writing, and but it's all just worth it in the end because it's so fucking beautiful. And it's such a deep meaning. His books have such a deep meaning. It's so fucking beautiful. I would really recommend. I also love, like, I've read two. I've read this one. And my grandma asked me to tell you she's sorry. And I have beer town on my shelves. And I really want to read that. Next, I physically read Sword Art Online by Riki Kawahara. I watched the TV show. Falling in love with the TV show. And I give this one three stars. This was such a disappointment in a moment. But it's it's kind of sexist. It is. It's sexist. And it's really disappointing. I know the, I know the series is sexist too, but you can like kind of move away from that and see the rest of the show, and you really know it's a sexist. I do want to continue. Which is maybe weird. I gave this one three stars, by the way. I don't know if I said that. Um, I I love these characters, even though even though I know it's sexist. I love these characters. 
So I will continue. At least with the second one. We'll see you further more because I think there are so many books in the series. So I don't like the second or third one either. Just don't think I will continue. But look, these characters are amazing and I would truly recommend you watch this show because I love this show. Okay, next page. Next, I listened to the audiobook of Cryer's War by Nina Varela, which I gave four stars. I really enjoyed this audiobook. Um, I did get a, quite a bit second hand embarrassment because, you know, just everything was going to go wrong. Like, you just knew and I just lock up when that happens. Uh, I got that with this book, but I did enjoy it and I really want to go finish the series hopefully next month Fingers crossed uh, But that's my plan. I, I really enjoyed it. This is about two main characters. One's a human and one's a robot Kind of and robots have taken over the world and a human wants to kill the robot and it's a lesbian story And I'm quite interested how this duology ends So we'll just have to see won't we? Uh, next, I listened to the audiobook of, or, yeah, it doesn't matter, of Wicca and an Essential Guide to Understanding Witchcraft and Magic and Spells for Beginners by Amy Golden, which I didn't read. Is a good one, though. I enjoyed this one also. Would recommend if you're starting, you know, as a beginner Wiccan, even though I'm still a beginner Wiccan myself. And I've not really progressed since then, so yeah that happened don't come for me please um next i physically read boy queen by george lester which i personally gave four stars as four stars i really enjoyed this one um there was one conflict i didn't didn't like in this book uh in a way the best friend of the main character reacts to to some something he did i just i just didn't enjoy that conflict but that's me personally um but this is about robin and robin loves dancing acting everything he wants to go to that a certain school in london that's all for it but he gets re rejected and he doesn't know what to do with his in-between year uh now that he's been rejected and he kind of figures Drag and it's his story and his discovering of drag and it's beautiful. I would recommend this if you're interested. Next, I listened to the audiobook of A Torch Against Night by Sabbath here, which I gave four stars. I gave it the first time, also four stars. So my writing has been the same in my rereads so far. Um I enjoyed this one a little bit less than the first one, which is why I couldn't give it five stars. But I did enjoy it still, and I really want to continue. I finished the series off. I have two left, which I'm planning to read in February. I didn't get to read them this month. I was kind of an audiobook slump, and I just wasn't in the mood for fantasy. So I didn't pick them up, and I will see that I will pick them up next month. Oh my god, how many glitters do I have in my hair? Okay. Next, I physically read Daughter of a Cyber Queen by Trisha Levenseller. I wanted to pick this one up because I wanted to finish the zoology. I gave the first one three stars, didn't really enjoy it, but it was a fast fantasy read. And I was like, I need to pick this up because otherwise I'm never going to finish the zoology. So I did pick it up. I give it also three stars. It isn't my favorite series in the world, but I get why people enjoy it because... It's very easy to read and it's fast paced and just an enjoyable read when you need to pick me up like or if you're reading high fantasy and you need a little bit of a faster fantasy of a this not so high fantasy world based one you know that's this one is perfect. Um then I listened to the audiobook for only when it's us by Chloe Lisa. Which I give four stars. This is a romance. A romance. Uh, a sports romance. Where the woman is the one who is really into sports and really wants to go professional. You're in college and um, you have two main characters. One main character, he is uh, deaf. 
or it became death because of some sickness. I don't, I don't know what I can't remember, so I won't really talk about that. Um, and the other main character, um, she really wants the sport, but she has been having a hard time. Her mom has cancer, trigger warning to cancer, um, and death of a loved one. Um, so they've been, well, been having a hard time and they meet in this class and she tries to ask him the notes for the class because she missed a few class because of her sports team and he ignores her but he can't hear her so it's quite fun and I would really recommend it if you love romance. Um, next I physically read The Time of Contempt by Andrew Spiskowski which I give three stars. I've given, I think, all of them three stars as far. But I do enjoy the series. Like, I really do enjoy the series. And I really want to continue. There are four left, I think. Um, I'm halfway through. Um, but they don't give me much as, like, I don't think of them later on. Like, I do, actually. But... I think why I'm not giving them higher star ratings is because the writing style is very, very, very dense. And that's hindering my love for this series. But I do want to continue and I do want to know what happens. And then I think I will get rid of them all because, you know, sometimes series are just like that. You want to read them and you enjoy them, but you will never think about them afterwards if you finish a series. You know what I mean? Um, next, I physically read Cemetery Boys by Adrian Thomas, right? Aiden Thomas, that's the name, not Adrian. Um, so I read this and I'm giving it, I give 4.5 stars. I love this book so much. But when I finished this, I was like, there's something missing. This isn't giving me five star feels, but it's also not giving me four star feels. So it should be in between. So it gave me 4.5, but just know this book is amazing. And I would really recommend you read it. It just, it's so good. Okay. It's so good. I can't wait for more of Aiden Thomas's book because they are amazing. Um, but recommend it's just, I'm not even going to talk about snobs because I think everyone knows this one so far. Um, then I listened to the audiobook of Harry Potter and The Goblet of the Fire. I know, normally don't know to a month of this, but my month has been hectic, bad. And I pick this one up. I give it four stars, not my favorite on series. Not going to talk about it more. So my book... Uh, by a trans author I picked up afterwards was Politics, a Form of a Mortal Girl. And it's sadly the first one in this whole thing with Harry Potter that I didn't like. I give this one two stars. And I'm so sad. Like, I'm so sad I didn't like this one. Because I just, like, literally, it just wasn't for me, you know? This is about Paul, and it's, I think, in the 1995. Like around that time, if I believe I'm right. And he can shape shift. Like, uh, he can change his body from man to woman. But I just, the writing style just went, just, I liked it, but it went way too fast. Like, more than one point, I was like, where are we? What is happening? What's going on? I, I don't know because you went from one moment to the next without so much of an explanation and I was like then we were in the past again and in the future and I just was really confused and some parts like he was talking about how beautiful beautiful woman one every woman is fucking beautiful every man is fucking beautiful you don't objecticate woman Two, he was saying afterwards, a beautiful woman always has to change their experience, uh, appearance to less beautiful, like color, a different color, hair, hair color like blue, or clay, clothing styles are just less beautiful. And I'm like, you don't get a say to what a woman does with her own body. Um. 
and you don't get to say that it's less beautiful just because you think so. Like, leave the people be. It just... He's so fucking cocky and not in a fun way. And that's why I think I didn't mash with it. Because I personally just didn't like Paul. I just didn't like Paul. And that made me not like the book. Like, I know, like, some characters you're not supposed to like. And I'm fine with them. I see their flaws, but I still love them, you know? And I just hated Paul. I just hated him. And I'm just sorry for it. Like, a lot of people love this book, so definitely try and pick it up if you think you love this. Uh, so, yeah. Then I listened to the audiobook of Pages and Co. by Tilly in a Book Runners, uh, Tilly in a Book Runners, uh, by Anna James, which I gave four stars. I really enjoyed this audiobook. Um, I really want to continue with the series. Uh, it's a middle grade. And if you love books, you would, you would pick this up because it's just... It's about a love for books. It's about this kid and Tilly, Matilda, and she loves books. And one day, her favorite characters show up in real life. And she can wander in the books. And it just, if you love books and it'll middle grade, pick this up. Like, just do it. Next, I physically read Percy, and Jack Percy Jackson and the Lightning Teeth by Rick Riordan. Um, I give this one also four stars. Um, I think the first time I gave them also four stars. I really enjoyed this. Um, they're not my favorite series in the world, but I really want to like reread them. Like, I think last time I read them, I <laughs> tired myself out because I was reading so many after each other in the next series. And that just made me not want to like them anymore because I was just reading them too fast after each other. So now I uh, I want to physically pick them up. Like I read the first Percy Jackson series physically and the rest on audio. So I want to reread them and pick the rest up physically. So that's happening. Really enjoyed this one. Recommend you pick this up if you like middle grade at least. Uh, there are some mistakes in this book. Like I want to mention that like um, with Medusa. The myth used in this one is not the real one, but it was explained by Rick Wired and that he did this because the real myth was just a bit too harmful to kids because this is for kids. Uh, because you know it mentions rape pretty a lot. It just it's just about rape and you know you have to protect the kids. So I get why he did it. Okay, so this were the books I officially finished already. There is a chance I will finish Dear Evan Hansen. Can't forget, I forgot the author. Um, I picked, first started this on physically 100 pages and didn't really enjoy it. And then I picked up the audiobook, which I enjoyed more. I've less than an hour left of this one. So I'm hoping to finish that today. But, you know, you can't promise anything. I, I can't promise anything. Um... But we'll just have to see. Um, I want to. And when I finish it, I'm probably going to give it three stars. Like, I think it's going to be three stars so far. And it probably will be. I get so much secondhand embarrassing from this book. Like, because of all the lying and everything. And you just know it's going to go wrong. You just know whatever fiber of your bone, of my bones, that it's going to go wrong. And that's just makes me want to pick it up less. And also, like, physically, I just didn't like the writing style. The writing style didn't mesh with me. But I wanted to finish it, so I'm hoping to do it today. Otherwise, so will, like, 100% be tomorrow. But yeah, that's what, uh, that was my January wrap-up. It's been a long video. I didn't think I would talk so much. Because normally I would do a 30-book wrap-up in half an hour. But, you know, I talked about more in depth this time. Uh, but this was my wrap up. Leave me a fireball down below from an lightning teeth. Percy Jackson, a lightning teeth. Or st stars, because I have glitter and there's stars in my glitter. Even though you can't see that. <laughs> it doesn't matter. 
Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please talk to me about the things you read in the month of January or if have you read any of the books I've read this month and what are your thoughts on them, if you agree with me or if you don't agree with me. would like to know all of your thoughts. Um, and if you're down there anyway, please maybe click the like button and the subscribe button if you want to see more of my face. I post every Tuesday and Friday at 3 o'clock. Uh, my time I just totally forgot GMT plus one that's my time <laughs> um, so that's happening and I hope you enjoyed this video so I'll see you next time bye